extra is so common that it's likely either you or the person sitting next to you will suffer from it. But when it comes to bowel cancer, 80% of cases are preventable. Now, you may have heard that folate is important for pregnant women, but did you know folate may also prevent bowel cancer? You see, folate is present in different forms. Some forms are required for making healthy DNA, such as in the cells of a rapidly growing baby, whereas other forms are required for making a protective chemical coating over DNA called methylation. Low methylation is a defect found in all bowel cancers, so my research asks if folate is related to low methylation and hence bowel cancer. Now, folate research is challenging because it's difficult to measure dietary folate intake. It's present in different forms, and each tissue in our body has different folate needs. So to overcome all these problems, I developed and published a new method that lets me measure the different folate forms in bowel tissue. And using this method, I looked at blood and bowel samples from low folate people, bowel cancer patients, and healthy people. I found that folate deficient patients had a shift in the balance of folate forms, leaving less for methylation. And not surprisingly, the blood of these patients had lower methylation. But what was fascinating was that the same shift in the balance of folate was also present in the bowel of cancer patients, and lo and behold, those samples also had lower methylation. So my research shows for the first time it's not actually the total amount, but rather it's the relative balance of folate that's important. Just like making a perfect loaf of bread requires the right ratios of flour, butter, salt and yeast, a healthy cell also has to have the right balance of folate, otherwise low methylation and bowel cancer can result. To confirm this, I'd need to see if folate deficient people develop bowel cancer, but that would take decades. Instead, I figured out a way to accelerate this process by growing human and mouse intestine cells in a petri dish, and they form these beautiful three-dimensional mini guts like this one I've shown here. So using this method, I'm looking at how nutrient imbalances remove methylation off these mini guts, and this research will be important to help us understand how we can get the right balance of folate to prevent bowel cancer. Thank you.